talk, shop, pop, movies. Oi there, this is Derek the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a Convicted Cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop open, that is, movies and physical media. So, I am finally back with a good old-fashioned show me what you got video show me what you got and the reason it took me so long to do another one of these is uh not only was i hella busy for hashtag spoof movie summer during july i did uh 15 videos that were solely dedicated or partially dedicated to that theme so go check them out if you haven't learn something why don't you all you kids nowadays it was mostly that, <laughs> but partially I was just trying not to spend too much, honestly. Uh, so I didn't buy very much in the entire month of July outside of the handful of spoof movies I bought for Spoof Movie Summer. On that note, talking about themed months, I'll uh, just say it now. I announced it on my Instagram the other day, but August is officially... <laughs> Anthology Horror August, yes. So I'm going to be focusing on the anthology horror films in my collection, some of which I have seen, but a lot of them I haven't watched my actual Blu-ray copies of since I bought them. So it's a way to get me to watch those, and it sounds good. So everybody wins, right? Anywho, let's get into the crap that I bought. I had a uh, baby-free weekend a couple weekends ago, and I happened to be at the Walmart nearest to me that actually had this in stock. So like everyone else, I went out and finally bought everything everywhere all at once. The Walmart exclusive slipcover, which I like quite a bit. That's why I grabbed it. I knew I could watch it the night I bought it. That's why I justified splurging on the uh, full price, even though I wasn't trying to buy much. I wish it kind of had the regular artwork and just the slipcover was different because I like when things have multiple, you know, artworks. But a very cool exclusive, especially for Walmart, nonetheless. So this was, I think, 25 bucks. It probably still is. I'm sure the standard 4K will go down in price very quickly, but this one theoretically will be long gone by then. I thought the movie was pretty damn good. You know, it wasn't the greatest thing in the history of film like some people make it out to be. <clears throat> but as far as wholly original movies... It doesn't get much better than this, especially this year, at least from what I've seen. On the completely opposite spectrum of quality, I grabbed the Moonfall Target exclusive lenticular slip case. And uh, I have a buddy who works for Target Boutique. So uh, I'm not going to say who that is, but they were neat. This was the one that was 70% off, this slip cover, because it was a standard Blu-ray. And they were cool and gave me the 4K ah, <laughs> receipt, 4K Blu-ray of it for the price of the 70% off Target exclusive Blu-ray. So I paid seven bucks for the 4K with this cool slipcover. Movie's not great, so you know I can justify buying a brand new 4K with a cool lenticular slipcover for around seven dollars. I will happily attempt to watch that again in its entirety at some point. <laughs> so, and I went to uh, Goodwill, got these two. It was a little towards the tail end of a uh, spoof movie summer, but I did grab the Not Another Teen Movie DVD because I used to own it. I actually really like this movie. It's hilarious. I show it off in my uh, final video of the month dedicated to the forgotten spoof movies that I didn't mention throughout the month otherwise because I just bought this like that day or the day after that but good to have it in the collection again there is a DVD or a blu-ray of it but it's like one of those stupid BDR discs so I'm like I'm not spending $30 on a BDR or copy of a movie that should just have like a $10 blu-ray and at the same goodwill I found Zombieland on blu-ray and I didn't have it so I was like what the hell I'll get Zombieland for a couple of bucks funny movie entertaining zombie thing and then I recently went out of town, up in the, the great white north of, you know, n northern Minnesota. It's not really great white north. It's more the great, very green north. Uh, but 
it gets more rural. I live closer to the Twin Cities, or the cities as everyone else who doesn't live here calls them, of Minneapolis and St. Paul. I live in that general area. So if you drive any direction for like an hour from there, it gets a little more rural. And uh, every 25 or 30 feet, there's a Dollar General once you hit that uh, certain point. And there's one in town where uh, the cabin I was uh, at. So I went in there, figured I'll look for some Dollar General Blu-rays. Grabbed a couple. <clears throat> I got this two-pack, which, you know, I normally despise two-packs. But I didn't have Uncle Buck or Fletch in my collection. And both of these movies are pretty dang good from what I remember. It's been a long time since I watched them. It would make more sense if it was like, because they're Paramount. Oh, no, I'm sorry. These are, yeah, Universal. Um, it would make more sense if it was Uncle Buck and, like, Great Outdoors. Or Fletch and Fletch 2 together. <laughs> but I already have Great Outdoors, so it kind of works out that it's this way. So, and it's like $3 cheaper than it is on Amazon to buy that. And then this one is like 17 or so dollars on Amazon, and it was only $4. The Steelbook of Journey to, what the hell is the rest of this movie called? The Mysterious Island. So this is the sequel to Journey to the Center of the Earth with Brendan Fraser. That came out in like 2008, I want to say. That also has a steelbook that is not the easiest thing in the world to find. But when you find it, it's pretty cheap. I saw it at a uh, hy grocery store randomly. They had like a bucket of movies there. And they had the steelbook of it. I would have grabbed it, but it was like... A 45 degree angle, like bent in half. So I didn't do that. So now I got to find that one to match this steel book, just so I can have them both for shits and giggles. So if you want to, like, you could just call this like practice Jumanji, basically, like any other movie with Dwayne Johnson from that time. So that's what I got at the general, as we call it up there. And uh, the tail end of Criterion Month as well, I grabbed Raging Bull on 4K, because who didn't? Um, yeah, I ordered this like a few weeks ago and it took like a week and a half to get here. Haven't had a chance to watch it yet, obviously, but, uh, by the time I got it, it was back ordered like one or two months from Amazon. So I'm glad I got it when I did. It's a great movie. Haven't watched this obviously, but I've seen the movie a few times and it is damn good. And then my sister, God bless her, uh, sent me some Criterion movies for my birthday, which is tomorrow. And, uh, she got me three of them. And two of them I didn't have. So, you know, two out of three ain't bad, I told her. <laughs> and they were all great ones. So, she got me Brazil. That's the one I already had. So, I returned that today. And I'll pick up something else that's coming out this month that I'm looking forward to. But, the two she got me, which are two that I've had on my wish list for like three years and just haven't pulled the trigger on for whatever reason. The Graduate with Dustin Hoffman. The primary reason now is like, oh, it'll probably get a 4K eventually. But, you know, if it's a gift, I'm more than happy. Uh, I had this DVD, never bought it on Blu-ray, fantastic movie, I've watched it a few times, gets funnier every time I watch it, I can't wait to watch this, because it is a 4K restoration on this Blu-ray, I think, yep, it is a 4K restoration, not like you can read that, <laughs> but, so it's a damn good Blu-ray, nonetheless, but it's a great movie, and this one I'm super excited to watch for the first time, another Best Picture nominee to the Criterion Collection, Broadcast News with Holly Hunter, William Hurt, and Albert Brooks. So now I have two Albert Brooks movies in my Criterion Collection collection. This is a James L. Brooks film, if I remember correctly. Not to be confused with Albert Brooks, yes. So the uh, writer-director of uh, As Good As It Gets and the producer of The Simpsons. So very, very happy to have both of these in the Blu-ray collection finally and in the best possible form that they exist in currently so thank you sis so that's all i've gotten lately not a bunch but uh some good stuff at least decent stuff for cheap and good stuff for gifts not complaining tomorrow i will be uh officially starting my first video for hash i almost said hashtag spoof movie somewhere out of habit now hashtag anthology horror august there we go so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Talk. Shop. Pop. Movies.